Welcome to Mr. Bell Kitchen today. Happy holidays to everyone. Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for all my new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Thank you for all my viewer watchers. Today, I know everyone, just about everyone got Power XL for Christmas. So today I'm going to be doing a little demonstrating on the Power XL. Today I will be cooking in this Power XL. Today, today I'll be grilling some ribs on it. And this tray right here, when you're grilling or baking, you want to put this inside your Power XL. You probably want to spray a little so the meat don't stick. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to spray a little with my avocado oil spray. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna spray the inside of it like that, and that's it. I'm gonna put the top on it. And I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna set my temperature on it. As you see, you have 12 different ways you can cook in it. Today, I'll be using the grill. And remember, if you're putting a small part of meat in, you can always put it down to 10 or 12 minutes. If you put it up higher, you might burn it a little, but if you put it lower, you can always add more minutes to it. But if you put up minutes higher, and if you burn the meat, you can't, you can't add no minutes. You can't take the minutes away. So you will want to put less minutes to just get started. Okay, I'm going to set it on 375, and I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to grill. I'm going to press timer, and now I'm going to press my minutes. I'm putting it on grill, and I'm, I'm setting my timer for 15 minutes, and I'm going to press back start. Let it preheat. Now it's preheating. I'm going to season up my meat. My hands are clean. My greetings today for my for my pork rib. I'm using a half a pork rib today. Nice pork rib, as you can see. Nice and clean. And my green, greetings today, I'll be using black pepper, garlic powder, seasoned salt, and paprika. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix it all up together. I'll mix all this up together, my black pepper, my garlic powder. Put it in there in one bowl. My season salt. Put all this in there together. And I'm just going to take my finger and stir this up real good. Stir that up, looking nice and good. I stirred that up, all the seasons together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip it over and do the back side first. Since the bones is on the back side, and when I flip it back over and put it on the season one be on the board, it'll still be on the meat. And I'm just gonna do it like that, put it on, season it up nice and good. Season that up right good. Put it on. So every part, then I'm just gonna rub it in there a little. Yes, rub that nice and good. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna get the front side. Season it up nice and good. Like I say, this should come out real nice. And if you watch some of my videos, I have did some air fries. I did some baked, different baked things in this Power XL, and it works real good. I'm just gonna put that all over like that. I'm gonna rub it in so that season be all over. Okay. 
As you see, I season my meat up real good and everything. Now I'm just gonna wait until the Power XL say add to add to food. After then, I'm gonna add the food into it. And now you see, it say add food. So now I'll be adding my pork ribs into it. I'm gonna open it up. As you can see, it's nice and heated. I'm gonna put these ribs in like this. It's nice and hot. Nice and good. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna press start and it's gonna continue. And now it's grilling the pork ribs. As you see the light circulating, it's time for me to open it up. I'm gonna press cancel. And it's right here. If you look, I'm gonna press cancel. You see all the digits is clear. So I'm gonna open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, it's a little light brown right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna take it out right here, like this. And I'm gonna sit it right here for the time being because I have to reset this. I have to reset the, the timer, put it back on. I'm gonna turn it on 375 and I'm gonna turn it till I go back to grill. You're gonna turn it till you get to grill. And I'm gonna put it on grill. It's on grill, I'm gonna hit the timer and I'm gonna set it for 15 minutes. Right now I might set it for 20. Like I say, you can always add, but you can't take away. So I'm gonna set it for 20 and I'm gonna close it and let it preheat until it say add the food. And I'm gonna press start and it's gonna preheat. And right now, I'm just going to flip it over and get it ready so when I get ready to put it over, put it in. Okay, now it say add food. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise it up. And I'm going to take my ribs and I'm put it on the back side this time. And I'm going to sit it in. Just like that. And I'm going to close it. And I'm gonna press start, and I have it on 20 minutes. And I'm gonna let it grill. Okay, it been 20 minutes, as you can see the light gonna circulate like that. So, I'm gonna open it up and see what it look like. I'm gonna press cancel first. And I'm gonna open it up. And it looks good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna flip it over and look at it and everything. It's looking good. You got your nice brownness in it and everything. So I'm gonna let the front side cook for another 15 minutes or so, another 15 minutes so I can get it nice and crispy and everything before I put a little sauce on it. So what I'm gonna do, when you get ready to put it back in, you're gonna close it and you're just going to reset it back on grill and turn it till you get to grill. It's on grill. I'm going to press timer and I'm going to set it for 15 minutes. And that after these 15 minutes, it should be done. Like I say, you can always add time to it, but you can't take time away from it. So. Don't be afraid to use it. So then I'm gonna press start, and let it preheat to say add food. Okay, as you see, it say add food. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna add my food in it. I'm gonna add this in. Let it get that nice good cook. I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna press start. And like I say, I've added 15 minutes to it. So this is the last time altogether it's gonna be 50 minutes. Okay, now as you see it circulating, I'm fixing to open it. I'm gonna press cancel first. And I'm gonna open it up. Oh yes. Yes, that looks real nice. That rib is nice. 
as you see i'm just going to leave it right here for a little while let you see how beautiful that look i'm going to turn it around so you can see the back side i'm going to turn it sideways it looks so good and this way and i'm going to just sit it right here and what i'm going to do i'm going to slice it before i put this sauce on it today i'll be using some sweet baby rays barbecue sauce i'm just going to brush it on here I brush a little on here and let it just scissor on there and make it nice and good and rub this on here real nice and good as you see the ribs came out real nice the grilled them off the power exhale and that's cooking with the power exhale that's cooking with the bells we did it again if you like it subscribe leave a comment in the box and I'll be doing a lot of cooking in this Power XL so you can get a lot of different ways of cooking. Thank you.